You know, I, uh, I heard a message many years ago, as I think it was at a youth conference, and the guy said, I never trust a leader that doesn't walk with a limp. I repeated it for years to my youth. I had no idea what it meant. <laughs> I just thought it was so cool. You know, Jacob walked with a limp, he wrestled with God and walked with a limp. I, uh, the, and the youth pastor, was his, it was his main point, like, I would never trust a leader who doesn't walk with a limp. And I'm like, yeah, me neither. <laughs> no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and it was years later that I realized that he's talking about God says this, the Bible says this, and you experience that. And instead of just going, well, whatever, you wrestle with God and you go, this isn't right. This, listen, I'm not gonna change my theology. I insist that you help me change my experience. And I wrestle with God. Instead of going, well, instead of becoming cynical and go, well, you know, when, when young people go, and I'm gonna pray and that person's gonna get out of the wheelchair. Instead of going, yeah, maybe. Because that's what old people tend to do, right? We tend to go, oh, yeah, well, if you had some experience, you know they don't all get out. <laughs> and, oh, sometimes, and I think sometimes as older people, we feel like it's our job to kind of temper their you know, enthusiasm so they don't get disappointed. Instead, instead of doing that, we wrestle with God. And we go, I prayed for 50 people who didn't get out of a wheelchair. And, this, and, and these young people are trying to, uh, they're praying for people, and instead of me being this cynical old man, I'm the man who dreams dreams. I've wrestled with God, and to the place where I go, somebody's gonna get out of a wheelchair, and it's gonna create a domino effect, and many more people are gonna get out of a wheelchair, and it's gonna be, you know, like when, the, when they broke the five minute mile, uh, Ro, uh, Bannister, uh, Roger Bannister broke the five minute mile, and it's like a four minute mile, four minute mile. And you know, you know it's, there's going to be, there's, there's going to be a domino effect, and many people, this victory is going to create many more victories. And so I wrestle with God. So my, my point is, is that past failures processed through the cross actually makes me a better person. I, I don't know, I feel it to say this, like, some of you, some of you you've, been in, you've been through a divorce, you know? You've been through a divorce, it's like, oh, uh, you know, in Christianity, that's like, almost like leprosy in some circles, and it's like, all right. You failed, it was your fault, it wasn't your fault, whatever. But what did you learn? Can you be a better marriage partner the next time? Can you do life better? Is it me, if you failed in business, can you, can you do it better next time? Is it, are you relegated to your past? Is that, is that the end of the story, is that the last chapter? Because that's not the way I read redemption. <laughs> 